A tin tack is a short nail made of tin plated iron. But are nails going to be doing a lot of damage on the higher chaoses in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? What's up YouTube? Zero here. And today I have a gun review of the Tin Tack Pistol in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. In this video, I'll go through the overview of the Tin Tack that I'm utilizing in this video. Then I'll get into some more gameplay and I'll talk about the pluses and minuses of utilizing the Tin Tack. Then I'll get into the end of the video where I'll get into Fate or Hate. Is the Tin Tack fated to be in the Fate Maker's inventory? Or are you going to hate it and should you trash it immediately? Before I get into it, I do want to say if you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content. I do a bunch of other RPGs and the fall is full of RPGs that I'm extremely excited for. I hope you are as well. So subscribe and be on the lookout for those once the fall hits. Without further ado, let's get into the tin tack that you're seeing in this clip. So mine's volatile and I have the pack leader's tin tack of the Riveter. This is a black powder pistol. Mine's epic. The damage is at 1214. Accuracy is at 58%. Handling's at 60%. Reload time's at 1.3, so really fast. The fire rate's at 11.28 per second. Again, really fast. The magazine size though is really paltry at four. This is enchanted for when I'm utilizing a Stabomancer, which I am not in this video. Reloading during From the Shadows extends its duration by 2 seconds. This has 33% increased gun damage, 10% increased critical hit damage, plus 27% reload speed, and a 5 time zoom. So now that I've gone through the overview of the Tin Tack in this video, Let's get into some more gameplay and talk about the pluses and minuses of utilizing the Tin Tack. So of course the Tin Tack is a black powder, aka a Jacobs from previous Borderlands games. The mantra of the Jacobs is, if you're not killing the enemy with one shot, you're not using a Jacobs. So does the Tin Tack black powder live up to that mantra? Well, it does have high damage output. We saw it was a little over 1,200 damage per shot. The fire rate's extremely quick. We're firing over 11 per second. That's extremely quick. However, the magazine size is really low. We're only at four. I have an enhanced skill that brings mine up to five but it is really low. You're having to reload after four shots. Now, while the reload is really quick, it's still 1.3 seconds every time you have to reload. So you have to stop your flow, you have to stop your aiming, and you have to reload, which means that not only are you gonna have to take the time to reload, but you're gonna have to take the time to reacquire your target. The sight on this gun, is a negative of that, but that's just my gun. I'm not really going to have that play too much into my final verdict, but I would really opt for no sight on the Tin Tac or a very low zoom. This zoom just makes the gun a little bit more difficult to utilize, and of course, if I do want to aim down the sight after reloading, it takes a little bit extra time to get the full zoom. Most of the time, I'm going to be hip firing, which is really nice for a gun like this because it does have decent accuracy. The bullets are going to go relatively straight, so you don't have to worry about that too much. I do like the firing motion, though. It reminds me just of a badass Western revolver, so I really like the look of the gun and the way the fire rate is going. Again, the reload's quick. The fire rate's really nice. The damage isn't bad, but the problem is the magazine size and how often you're going to have to reload because of that magazine size. So now that I've talked about the pluses and minuses of the Tin Tac, let's get into Fate or Hate. Is the Tin Tac fated to be in the Fate Maker's inventory? Or are you going to hate it and should you trash it immediately? Now in previous Borderlands games, I always loved Jacob's guns. 
I've always been a player who is more of the high damage output. I love that increased damage per second. And I love the one shot, one kill mantra. I love snipers. But does this live up to that? And the problem with this Jacob's gun, the Tintac, is that reload and how often you have to reload, really making it down to the magazine size. The problem is that while this gun does have a decent damage output, and it has a really good fire rate, so in those four or five shots, however many you have, if you have an increased magazine size, you're dealing a decent amount of damage, but you have to reload so often and then reacquire your target that this pistol is outclassed by other pistols in the game because other pistols in the game can do more damage per second. This is a decent gun that I wouldn't mind using, but I'm going to hate it because there are better, better pistols in the game. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, peace.